Hollow Peeps, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV. Watching little Dr. Phil checking it out. This lady, y'all, she swears she's um in touch with like Dr. Phil, Clint Eastwood. She talked to President Obama. I mean, she is loped out. Let me turn that up so y'all can hear. Okay. Yeah. Honey, Dr. Phil can't help you, honey. You got to go to the hospital or something. Okay. Some medication. Ain't no shame in it, girl. Okay. So she meeting Dr. Phil for the first time, but she been telling her family she's in touch with Dr. Phil. This is the first time. Dr. Phil just said, well, you and I talked before. She said, yes, we have. I'm just saying, just go along. Sleep with this damn mascara on. Yes, actually, you were. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. That's yes. good. I'm, I like to be helpful, yes. so that's good. We've been kind of talking that's about nice. you, and your family has visited with me some uh, about your life, not just recently, but uh, across time. Do you hear voices? Yes, I do. Now, when you heard what? the devil. She heard the devil, too, y'all. Through. That's not good. Person, yes. Right. That's not did, good if you're hearing the devil. Did she tell you that she wanted you to hurt family okay. members? Didn't she, she watch the Bible? She told me that she was going okay. to hurt them. She was going to hurt them? Yes. How would she hurt them? She just told me that she was going to kill them. Uh -huh. And like uh, make them, she was going to do stuff to their thinking to make them like have a car accident. Or, oh my God. Um, she was going to hurt my son. My mom was driving around with my son one day. She told me that she was going to um, make my mother have a car accident. Can she that. control people's thoughts and make okay. them do things like have a car accident or whatever? She seems to think that she can. Can she control She seems to think that she can. I, um, I'll be back in two shakes. Wait a minute. It seems to be that if she is the devil that she Oops, sorry. Hit the camera there. Um, I have can do that, but I know you're a spiritual person, and... I can't I wait to hear what Dr. Phil tells us later. How do you know that, that I'm a spiritual person? Um, the angels tell me that. God tell me that. Stop. Would the angels told her... Make me think that you're crazy? That Dr. Phil would be okay. kind to her. Are you? No. Are you schizophrenic? Are you psychotic? Are you in some way uh, mentally ill? No. Are you head loose? That's uh, what you're trying you to ask married? us. I'm not. <laughs> you're not getting married? No. Yeah. Not that I know of. I would like to get married one day. Yeah. Who would you marry? Um, well, I kind of talk to somebody a lot that helps me a lot. Who? Robert Kardashian. So she said she wanted to marry Robert Kardashian because she, she, she talks to him all the time. Do you talk on the phone more or do you talk? Child, shut down your Twitter page. Just talk like in my head and then he answers the phone. Okay. Um, she wants to marry Robert Kardashian. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
So if I call Rob and say, have you been talking to Tanya for eight and a half months in your head, what would he tell me? I don't have no idea what he's going to say. Would he know that it's you? I mean, if he sent me a picture on his computer, I would think that he would know that it was me. Do you have his email address? No. Now it's on my lap. He sent it to you on the computer. Oh, it right. sucks no, if I dropped it. He just sent it straight to, to the computer. I'm just asking you, commonsensically, because I, I don't know if, you, if you'll explain it to me, then I'll understand it. <laughs> but I know uh, I've never gotten the computer message that didn't have an original message. Sorry, y'all. It's a bouncy ride. So I could hit reply and, and send something back. Oh. But this didn't have a place to reply to. No. So it just came from nowhere. Right. How do you know it was from him? Um, I mean, that's just what um, I thought that he would say. to me. And that he was not. And you say that you talked to President Obama. Ellen DeGeneres, Mel Gibson, Clint Eastwood. You're, you're talking to all of these. She's talking Mel people. Gibson, Clint Eastwood, you're everybody. In her head. You see their pictures. She say. Mm -hmm. so you okay, she needs some long term therapy, hollow. Things of that nature, so they're part of your consciousness. I don't. No, I haven't seen their pictures or really. Now, I mean, I've watched Ellen on TV a few times, but. And of oh, Ellen DeGeneres. Um, she talked to her in her head. You see the lady in the third row over here, fourth from the right? You don't talk to her because, see, you don't know she exists. You've never seen her before, right, right there. Right. There's a point at which you have to start asking yourself some questions about how to frame some of your experiences up right. as to whether or not you're really talking to me and Rob Kardashian. And President Obama, or if you're just highly suggestible by highly suggestible, we exist. Oh, the crazy fool. Thinking a lot about what's going on in your mind. Uh, let's, let's take a quick break, okay? Mm -hmm. well, He's taking a break. break. So I'm going to cut this. My good friend, wow. Dr. Charles Sultan. Going to be wise. Love you guys. Uh,